Hi, it's me, Tim Dodd, the Everyday Astronaut. I'm here to report on something extremely important. And of course, I'm gonna give you guys my rundown on whether or not the Falcon Heavy is pointy end up or not. And hang on, let me, let me do some, I'm gonna do some at length observations here because honestly, yeah, okay. Uh, I, I'm highly trained in this and it, you can't be an amateur when you're, when you're trying to debate whether or not this thing has the pointy end up. And I, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, let's see, I'm gonna call it now. It is 11.36 a.m. Florida time. I'm here to officially report that it looks like Falcon Heavy officially has the pointy end up, flamey end down. That's good news. I think they're actually gonna launch tonight. How are you guys? What questions do you guys have about uh, tonight's launch? Uh, it's gonna be amazing, first off, because uh, we're gonna be seeing two boosters land, back at land, just like the demo mission. Uh, it should be amazing, and of course, we're really hoping to see um, the center core land this time, and it's going to land really, really, really far downrange, a thousand kilometers downrange, so just about 600 miles, or right around 600 miles downrange. Uh, it's going to be incredible, so I hope you guys are able to watch the live stream tonight. Um, it's, yeah, I, I'm really, really excited for it. I've got, I've got quite the streaming setup for you guys. It won't be this. This is just me doing a selfie with my stupid phone. Um, Tonight I'm going to have four bonded cell phone networks that are all like joining forces to make an awesome, awesome uh, hotspot, and it's going to be pretty intense. So um, yeah, we are going. We'll go inside the gate here in a second. I'm going to do some stand-up filming for videos inside the gate. But for now, uh, to live stream, once you get in there, actually the cell phone service drops off instantly. So for now, um, yeah, this is this is about as good as it gets to be honest. So. Um, so yeah, how, it's, it's, probably a, it's probably a box of potatoes at this point, but you know, it's about the best I can get. I would love to do the streaming stuff right now, but it's a, I, it takes a bit to set up. So um, let's see, I saw a good question there. Um, how much does the rocket look like your new Block 5 Falcon Heavy? Um, my new Block 5 Falcon Heavy? Well, I don't, I don't know what you're I mean, it is a Block 5 Falcon Heavy, so it's literally just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just basically three, uh, three Falcon nines <laughs> strapped together. Obviously more complicated, but this is the first time they're doing the block five architecture, which is, um, which is awesome because the block five architecture is a lot more reusable. Uh, reusability really is like, you know, before block five, they're just learning how to land, seeing what gets burnt out, seeing what, what, you know, gets through the most punishment. And that's what block five is made to do is, uh, is really be massively recoverable. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. So I, uh, I only set up two cameras at the launch pad today just because I want to focus more on video stuff and I, I don't want to be here all day setting up cameras. So I've got two remote cameras from vantage points that I've never uh, never set up from before. So that should be fun, uh, fun for me at least. Um, the No, the, the Falcon Heavy Block 5 version does not have a black interstate for some reason. Um, if you want to know what time it launches, guys, I don't know your local time zone. So instead you can go to everydayastronaut.com uh, click on pre-launch previews and you'll see it in your local time zone or you can use apps like SpaceX now uh, You know, there's there's a bunch of good apps that'll, that'll give you even a calendar reminder if you want um, But yeah, I uh, it just totally depends on where you live. So for me, it's gonna be about 630 ish I'm gonna try to go on about 5 515 um, Florida time to be able to, to do my live stream. Hope hopefully we'll see um, there's, yeah, we're, there's also been some speculation. I don't, I'm not going to speculate on it too much, but some people are saying they think it might, it might get delayed a little bit, uh, just because it, it went up vertical a little bit later than, uh, expected, but I don't know if that's a game changer. I don't really know. Um, so yeah, um, I will be, I will be live streaming tonight from the causeway, which is the best place you can be for the landing. I will be seven kilometers, about four and a half miles away from the landing. Um, that is loud. And uh, I'll be about 10 kilometers, uh, six six miles, a little less like than that for from the uh, from the launch. So it should be really really good. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm sorry that it's shaky. I'm just holding this with my hand real quick while I'm getting ready to, to move on. So I do apologize. Um, yeah, it would be. Yeah, it sounds like depending on where you're from, it really who knows. Uh, you just saw me walk past Doss's. <laughs> uh, no, I uh, the payload tonight is the Arabsat 6A 
Uh, it's about a 6,000 kilogram, um, about a 6,000 kilogram payload going to geostationary orbit. Uh, it sounds like they're going to put it into a pretty high energy, highly elliptical. Uh, you know, you can actually help the customer out if you raise the periapsis for them and and totally nail the inclination, which the Falcon Heavy can do. Uh, the Arab Sat was supposed to launch uh, quite some time ago, so I, I can see them utilizing a lot more performance out of the Falcon Heavy to make sure the customer gets their satellite into space um, and in its correct destination as soon as possible. So, um, yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to keep uh, keep up with you guys. Yeah, I, I'm really excited. Again, yeah, tonight's going to be, uh, you know, I hope it goes off like right, if it happened to go right off uh, during sunset, that'd be amazing. Uh, it's currently scheduled to take off about an hour before sunset. Hey there. Oh, thank you. Um, Marcus says, uh, could the center booster land back at launch site rather than downrange if they had another landing pad? Of course it could, but then you kind of negate the purpose of Falcon Heavy. And and and, and the, you at that point, you're probably not going to get almost any more performance out of it than you would a Falcon 9 landing on the drone ship. So uh, you need to remember that the big reason that the Falcon Heavy is more... Uh, more has more delta v is because that center core can burn for longer and burn at a higher velocity and get more of that velocity downrange so the second stage doesn't have to do as much work um so if you know if you think about it so if you have the first stage the center core landing back on land that negates a lot of that potential work and therefore yeah that it's kind of you know what's the point you might as well have done that on a standard falcon 9. Um, there are, there is going to be a mission, a really lightweight mission, the STP-2 mission, which hopefully this exact Falcon Heavy, once it lands, uh, within about a month or two, the Air Force has an ST, STP-2 mission, and they will be landing the center core back on a drone ship only about uh, 50 kilometers, the center core back on a drone ship only about uh, 50 kilometers off range, uh, off, down, off range, uh, off down range. So it will be doing a massive boost back burn, basically landing on land, um, and that's just because it's such a light, really, really, really lightweight payload. Um, and it's, uh, it's basically more of a demonstration. Um, and it's, uh, it's basically more of a demonstration. Um, it's really honestly just, it's really honestly just, yeah, it's, it's more about uh, getting Falcon Heavy going with the Air Force. The first time they're going to be launching with the Air Force. Um, yeah, going to be launching with the Air Force. Um, yeah. Um, the launch pad yet you are seeing falcon heavy at the launch pad as we speak it is vertical um yeah it, it should be it should be pretty good guys it should be a really good launch tonight i i really hope the weather stays clear we've had um you know potentially uh a, a potentially you know weather delays like some people are saying 80 percent um yeah so there we go yeah i, I um, yeah I, I do apologize that youtube's stuttering I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. Again, I, I would stream from inside the fence, but uh, inside the fence, the signal drops even more. It's like a Faraday cage once you get inside on the pad. Um, yeah, so get inside on the pad. Um, yeah, so we'll try, we'll, we'll try, we'll try. Um, so tonight's live stream should be a lot better quality. Um, and hopefully you guys end up, uh, it all works out okay. Uh, I'm trying something really new. Uh, and it should be really reliable with really high quality new, uh, and it should be really reliable with really high quality footage. But right now it does quality footage. But right now it does not seem to be the case. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. I gotta get rolling. It's really hot too, so I don't want to be standing here in the sun the whole time. But uh, I'm gonna get out of here. We'll see you guys tonight. Enjoy the launch tonight. Um, I will be streaming at least tonight. Enjoy the launch tonight. Um, I will be streaming at least, hopefully, uh, almost, hopefully, uh, almost about an hour and a half before launch. So, um, so yeah. So, so come check it out. I have that already posted now. Um, but wish me luck. All right. We'll see you guys. Have a good one. Uh, go Falcon Heavy. Go SpaceX and go one. Uh, go Falcon Heavy. Go SpaceX and go Arab Set. We'll see you guys.